As the time goes by, our childhood began to disappear. And Winnie the Pooh wasn't an exception. And years have passed since his last appearance. Dearest friend, I will be waiting for you. Tonight, under the stars, I have made a wonderful new honey. It is delicious. I wish for you to try it. Please do come by and indulge with this sweet bear for an even sweeter time. Upon reading the letter, a sense of disquiet settled upon me. Nevertheless, I could not deny the request of an old friend. <laughs> Scars marred his flesh, and his stomach gaped open. I had to run, but with him so close, escape seemed impossible. <laughs> Who offered this? He called it honey, but something about it seemed off. The taste was all wrong. The moment he insisted I stay longer, a jolt of fear ran through me. I had to leave, and I needed a plan, fast. Scrambling for anything that might aid my escape, I found a hidden cache of notes. The hunting records of those who had trapped before me. Who invited me for dinner tonight, but I haven't seen the food yet. I told him I could help him hunt for a pig like the one we used to hang out with. He snapped my neck and said not to talk about Christopher that way. So I hid his favorite honey stick in his room. The one where you were reading this. Before I died. He's a stupid bear. He won't notice. Fuck that guy. His honey wasn't good anyway. This letter wasn't a joke. Who was insane and one wrong move could be my last? My hands trembled as I unearthed another victim's note. Its desperate words made one thing clear. Time was running out. I don't know who will find this, but Pooh's been acting strange. I don't like how he looks at me, so I punched him and he punched me back. The utter audacity. We fought, but I mean, he's a bear. I had to run. I was going to take the road back, but he's camping it like a little sh**. I found a dry well and dug a tunnel all the way to Honeyville. I snuck back to his house and left this note before leaving to any other friends who want to escape this crazy bear. I was finally able to locate the last remaining note after investigating for a while. Pooh sent me out to get water from the river, but I took the wrong path and ended up at a well. I've never seen it before, so I went and asked Pooh if he always gets his water from the river. Pooh said the water was for me, not the honey, then walked up to me. Strange. I wonder why I suddenly can't feel my legs. Oh, there they are. Oh dear, I think I'm dying. After reading the last letter, I checked for tools one last time, then I bolted. But hope died as I saw Pooh ready and waiting. <laughs> Apparently, bears can run at 35 miles per hour. I should have seen it coming. However, the victims were right. 
who was careless. A saw lay in the room. My chance. Bears have hearing twice as good as any human. The tiniest noise, the faintest snap of a twig, and I will be dead before I know it. First one down, one more to go. The moment I broke free, adrenaline fueled my escape. I sprinted towards the spot marked in the note. I ran and ran, plunging deeper into the endless labyrinth of the woods. And finally, I was able to find the fence the note was talking about. Cut the fence. Position the stick. Break the rope. No time for errors. A single slip could leave me trapped. Against all odds, I broke free from the nightmare. I'm afraid I'll never see my old friend ever again. Every corner hides a nightmare, every whisper a threat. She's lost in her own neighborhood, pursued by unseen terrors. Will she find sanctuary before it is too late? Click here to watch the